Athens in general is a place that's full of art and history. Being a DJ and producer in Athens is not so easy. It is an amalgamation of the Balkans, Middle East, Europe. And historically, it has been a passing point because of that. Kabos νιώθω ότι είναι πολύ ελεύθερη πόλη. As an underground artist, it might be kind of difficult. You gotta chase it, actually. It's not easy here to do things that are different than our culture. We give all ourselves to show them how creative we are. The creative community here, like, is very active. There's a lot of people doing music. We have a good party culture here. People is always hungry for parties. I mean, I'm, trust me. <laughs> Geopolitically, it is in a very specific point in time and place. It is creative by nature, but then it also is a, a very hard place to create. I'm doing music like for 15 years. I produce, I start DJing, and then I start the radio, and then I start working at Romanzo. So basically I, I know like a lot of people like around music. I was in my house, I called my friend and DJ Becca, you know, DJ Problems, and I had this idea to start the online radio. People was into that for the, from the beginning. That's one thing I like because people, they trust us. We started like 30 DJs in the beginning, 30 residents. And now we like 100 plus residents and so many guests. I don't even know the number now. The radio is like, uh, we all volunteers. We, we are a non-profit. We not get paid from nowhere. We are a team of five now. I mean, the basic issue is uh, the funding. That's one big problem here. Every year we do a party to support the radio. So all the DJs, they play music like for free. So we can raise money and pay all the bills for the radio, you know. Maybe sometimes we put money from our pocket. It's because we love what we're doing and we don't want fundings from government or something like that. We want to be independent. My connection in Fade Radio was like, it's a really good collective for me because it gets like independent artists, yeah, like DJs, musicians. It gets to show their art outside, like not only here in Greece, but globally. I'm Danny, also known as Days Boy. I'm a producer slash DJ as well. I'm from Congo, but I was born here in Greece, born and raised in Kipseli. That's the area, that's the spot, <laughs> the beehive. For me, it's like one of the most multicultural areas in Athens. You get to see people from all around the world. You're not that close-minded. You get to see someone's perspective. You get people from, from different groups all together and they get to exchange ideas, brainstorming, they get to talk with someone. That's a nice way also to network as well. For me, I think network is the, is the, is the key. You gotta be consistent about it, apart from like, creating your art, you've got to start working on the business thing, like to get to know people, where to promote your things. The trap scene, I guess it's like, yeah, it's really booming right now. It's actually the trend right now here in Athens. Music in general, I think it's that thing that you get to express yourself in a song and someone might like relate to it. Their difficulties in life, their struggles, the way they hustle to strive, not everybody expresses the same thing. You gotta be tough, actually. You gotta be tough because you, you won't get always what you want. No matter what, you gotta keep on chasing it by any means. <laughs> Η μουσική μου προσφέρει πολύ ωραία πράγματα, ωραία συναισθήματα. Στην αρχή, ειδικά όταν ξεκίνησα, ήμουν πάρα πολύ ενθουσιασμένο. Το project του DJ Problems είναι ένα project που περιέχει. Έχει ηλέκτρο, γκέτο, breaks. Και η ιδέα όταν το ξεκίνησα αυτό το project ήταν να είναι χορευτική μουσική, δηλαδή να είναι αποκλειστικά για κλαμπ. Και η κοινότητα στην Αθήνα δεν είναι πολύ μεγάλη. 
στο κομμάτι που στο στυλ ας πούμε, που ασχολούμαι εγώ στην ηλεκτρονική φάση. Ουσιαστικά γνωριζόμαστε όλοι πάνω κάτω. Είναι μικροί και κάποια άτομα προσπαθούν με πολύ αγάπη να χτίσουν κάτι ωραίο ώστε να, να γίνονται ωραία πράγματα. Το Fade Radio ξεκίνησε πριν δύο χρόνια περίπου από αυτό το σπίτι. Η ιδέα του Fade Radio ήταν να φτιάξουμε ένα radio και να σαπορτάρουμε τους local καλλιτέχνες. Όταν ξεκινήσαμε ε, δεν είχαμε πραγματικά τίποτα, ούτε κάποιο budget, ε, ούτε εξοπλισμό. Φτιάξαμε τα γραφιστικά μας, φτιάξαμε, αγοράσαμε σερβερ στο, στο ίντερνετ για να στριμάρουμε. Το radio ξεκίνησε. I don't have an aim when I write. I just put down whatever comes to to my mind. I, I'm an improviser by nature, so I think it's more of a, a communication between me and my friends. It's like a you know a language dialogue. If you can have a nice conversation with someone, chances are maybe you can also have a musical and visual conversation with them as well. It's a complicated. Uh, scenario being an artist in Athens. I, I guess it's at a tipping point. People are trying to form collectives. It's rather difficult because there's not state funding for this at all. The Ministry of uh, Culture usually has some grants every year and this has been cut by 60% this year. This is kind of giving you an idea of what we have to face. By nature, every city is creative in the sense that it contains people. Is art in Athens able to exist? That's the real question. Πολύ ωραίο συνέστημα αυτό ότι ξέρεις, ξεκινάς κάτι από το μηδέν, πραγματικά από το μηδέν, έτσι το έχω στο μυαλό μου. Ξέρεις, είμαστε ένα radio που είμαστε πραγματικά μόνοι μας, δεν έχουμε κάποιο budget, ε, καμιά χορηγία. Όταν το καταλαβαίνουν κάποιοι και το εκτιμάνε αυτό, ξέρεις, είναι πολύ ωραίο συνέστημα. Το brand του Fade Radio είναι ότι δεν υπάρχει brand. Μπορείς να είσαι όποιος και να βάλεις όποια μουσική θέλεις. That's the best thing about it, as an independent radio as well. I mean, it's super important for places like this to give the opportunity to new artists to start their career or maybe doing events. I like that Dennis uh, Randis because he's a guy, he knows what's up, you know, with music and street culture. He's outside like I am, you know, all day. <laughs> the future of Fed Radio is like to stay independent as we are now. It's simple, I don't want nothing crazy. Having you are here to explore the community, I think it's a good idea because people around the world can see what we're doing here. The Giving Back program yeah, is such a helpful for the community. We, we was thinking like to do like DJ workshops to help people that want to be DJ but they don't have the equipment. I know that they have very good intentions about creating a really nice community and they want to do workshops and stuff in the future. If this could happen in a scenario that is, you know, a group in, in a real environment or like on speakers in a club and on a, you know, proper setup, that would be great because this doesn't exist right now in Greece. I think that in the future, I want to believe that the whole thing θα είναι πολύ πιο ωραία τα πράγματα. Όχι ότι δεν είναι τώρα, αλλά να γίνει ακόμα πιο ωραίο. Things are hard, so yeah, it's not the easiest environment to work in, but uh, I guess it's also the reason why there's so much art going around. I just hope that this art that already exists is better supported in the future. For me, what New Era is doing, it really like helps independent uh, artists. So for me, it's like amazing. It's all about the people, you know. It's all about you know to know that people like what you do. Fade Radio is a part of this community and always will be. <laughs> <laughs>